Happy Friday. <sighs> this too shall pass. It all passes. The good, the bad, the indifferent. Sometimes quickly, sometimes slowly. <laughs> all of that is true for me. I feel better than I did the day before, than the day before that. Back and forth a little. It just is, man. It just is. And if you're like me, I get into this place of that I forget that it's ever been anything worse than it is. And it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. And I forget that it gets better and that everything is as it's supposed to be. Acceptance. But not acceptance, not with, with acceptance and surrender, but still action. I've had, you know, I, the, the ideas have come into my head of just like, well, I just get, you know, a box of Lucky Charms and eat the whole thing. That'll make you feel better. And it would, <laughs> it has, not recently, but then I have either the sugar crash or I've eaten the whole box and I feel disgusting and bloated and, you know, I'm either sick or I gotta vomit. I have all those instincts. Gratefully, I have a little distance between the insanity because I can pump the brakes and be like, all right, yeah, that's what I wanna do, but I'm gonna have some trail mix or some blueberries and some Greek yogurt. Amazing, by the way. Um, yeah, I forget a lot. Just take it a, a day at a time, and and this whole compassion for self, very challenging. But it's this time around for me has been easier. The drill sergeant Jeff wasn't as difficult or challenging to kind of coax, like just quiet down in the background, buddy. You don't have to be so mean to yourself right now. And I just took, I've been taking it easy, still being active, still pursuing, you know, my art and writing and looking for work and not as aggressively as, as I would have maybe, you know, a couple months ago or when I'm even when I'm feeling healthy, but also not as aggressive. Storming through has been my old way, just pushing through it. You'll, you'll deal with the consequences later. And storming through, whether it's a mental challenge or illness or disease or physical illness, all of that came to roost later. You know, if, I'm, if it's a physical problem that I'm ignoring, then I have problems later on. And grateful that my instinct is to push through, but then the quieter voice, which is like what I'm trying to engage, this listening to my my heart or my my soul or my body, cheesy whatever, because I get like, oh, you you're really in touch with you know I I get like. I get spiritual envy. <laughs> that person's really in touch. Oh, they, they're, they're, you know, they, they have all sorts of visions when they meditate. I want that, rather than accepting and getting and sitting with what I get or what I have, and being grateful for the practice that I have, because I have come from a place of never wanting to or thinking I could sit still, and now I, you know a decade plus into a, you know, just a sitting meditation practice, which sometimes is longer than others, and sometimes is great, and sometimes is painful, and sometimes I get nothing, and I don't get the writing on the wall, or the, you know, the, the, the direct, uh, you know, I, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I can be like a greedy little pig that wants to get everything two weeks ago. Then I 
I, I, I squander it. The things that take me time to get, I appreciate. I've learned to appreciate and be grateful for. Yeah. I, that is one of the benefits of time, because if I got everything I wanted right now, didn't, you know, if the work was just instant manifestation, then maybe I wouldn't appreciate it. I don't know. I don't know. Babbling. Big light. Much love. Happy Friday.